welcome to my channel! Today, to prepare to head back to work, we are going to make the peppermint bowen dress. Who doesn't want to go back to work with a really nice, flowy and comfy dress, right? And it's a free pattern! Oh, and just to let you know, I won't follow all the steps of the instructions for certain things because I have my way of doing things. So you can skip some parts or you can just follow my advice and tutorial. Let's begin! I fold the fabric right sides together. I'm using tensile fabric here, it's really flowy and moves a lot, so I advise you to align the selvage on the edge of your table to keep it straight. After that, I place the pattern pieces on my fabric. Then, I pin the pattern pieces to the fabric. Once all the pattern pieces are well placed, I cut the pieces carefully. I like to add interfacing on the neck hole facing and in the center front where we're going to make the buttonholes. Here I measure 5 cm width for the center front interfacing and it will cover all the length of the button plaquettes in the center front. Now let's press the interfacing. If you are wondering why I'm adding interfacing, it's because it shapes the design and it will reinforce and stabilize the neck hole facing and where buttons and buttonholes are sewn. If you don't know, it will also increase the life of your garment. Here, as you can see, I cut the notches. You can also mark them with a chalk or an erasable pen. Make sure to mark all the notches on the bodice and skirt pattern pieces. Here. I'm going to overlock the side seams of the neck hole facing A and the outside edge, the side seams of the neck hole facing B and the outside edge, the shoulder seams and bottom edge of the bodice A and the armhole side, then the shoulder seams and bottom edge of the bodice B and the armhole side, all around the sleeve ruffles and the skirt pieces. As I have interfacing on the neck hole facing, I don't need to stay stitch the neckline of the bodice pattern pieces and also the neck hole facing pattern pieces as recommended in the instructions. I place the bodice A pattern pieces on the bodice B, right sides together and pin the shoulders like this. Sew along the shoulders one centimeter from the edge. Then press the seams open. After that, take the neck hole facing A and the neck hole facing B pieces. Place them like this, right sides together. Pin the sides and sew. Then press the seams open. Now place the unfinished edge of the neck hole facing to the neck hole of the bodice, right sides together. Match the shoulder seams and pin all around. Here we are going to sew all around 1 cm from the edge. Cut small notches into the seam allowances of the neck hole and be careful to not cut over the seams. Now we need to fold the neck hole facing into the inside of the bodice. To make this step easier, I prefer to press the neck hole facing like this. The layers of the seam allowances are facing towards the bodice. Then, I can fold the neck hole facing into the inside of the bodice easily and press all around. After that, 
pin the neck hole facing to the bodice and top stitch. Fold the center front of the bodice A by 1 cm towards the wrong side of the fabric and press. Fold over again by 4 cm and press. Then pin and top stitch close to the folded edge right here. After that, overlap the left side of the bodice A over the right side by 4 cm as shown here. Pin the two bodice A pieces together by the center front like this and base stitch right here. We are doing this just to hold them in place. Look, this is the base and stitch. Now it's time to do some gathering. First of all, change the stitch length of your sewing machine to the longest length and the tension to the lowest level. This is where we are going to do the gathering. Sew a row of stitching along the armhole seam of the sleeve, 5 mm from the edge. Then sew another row of stitching 7 mm away from the same edge. This is what it should look like. In the beginning, I marked the notches on the wrong side of the fabric. So, I will place a pin by the marks on the right side of the fabric, so I won't make a mistake. Knot the threads at one end of each row of stitching together. Pull on the ends of the threads, so that the fabric starts together. Keep gathering the fabric until the seam is matching with the side of the body spaces between the notches. Now place the sleeves onto the bodice along the armhole seam, right sides together and pin. The sleeve should sit in between the two notches marked on the bodice. Here I measure and place a mark 1cm from the edges. We are going to sew in between these two marks. This is what it should look like. You can take off the gathering stitches. After that, pin the underarm seams of the sleeves right sides together and sew. Then, pin and sew the side seams of the bodice together. Make sure that the stitching meets the armhole seam you just sewed. Look, right here. Now press the seams open. After that, fold the bottom edge of the sleeves over by 1 cm toward the wrong side of the fabric and press. Fold them over again by 1 cm. Top stitch close to the folded edge. Here I only overlocked the straight edge of the pockets. After that, take the front side of the skirt and one pocket piece, place the straight edge of the pocket against the side seam of the skirt in between the two notches, right sides together, pin all along. Then put a mark 1 cm from both edges. We are only gonna sew in between these two marks. Repeat the same thing with the other three pocket pieces. At the end, you should have two pocket pieces attached to the front and back of the skirt. Now press the pocket towards the outside of the skirt. The next step will help you to keep the pockets flat. You can skip this part if you want because it's not in the instructions. So I will top stitch here approximately 2 mm from the seam. Place the front and back of the skirt right sides together. Pin around the pockets like this on both sides. Overlock all around the pockets. After that, pin the sides. Next, sew in one continuous line the sides and around the pockets. Repeat the same thing on the other side. Once that's done, 
press the seams open. Now we are going to gather the top edge of the skirt. Repeat the same method that we used for the sleeves earlier. After, place the skirt on top of the bottom of the bodice, right sides together. The bodice is inside the skirt, pin all around. Make sure the side seams are aligned while pinning. Then sew one centimeter from the edge. Don't forget to take off the gathering stitches when you're done. Before doing the hem of the dress, I tried it on to make sure the length suits me. And as you can see, it's too long. So I cut about 18 centimeters off and overlocked the edges. After, I fold by 1 cm and press all the way down. Then I sew the hem. Hmm, it feels like it might be too short now. Oopsie! So, I'm going to use the piece that I cut to make a longer piece by cutting it half and gather all the way down so I can add a gathered tear at the bottom of my skirt. And finally, let's make the buttonholes to finish this dress. I'm going to use three buttons like these. They're so cute. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, then support my channel by subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. See you next week. Bye bye.